What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare and today we did receive update 1.12. I will link the patch notes down in the description in case you guys would like to read over them for yourself. But let's go ahead and hop right into it because there's a good bit of stuff going on within this update. Of course we received the new multiplayer maps Vacant and Shipment. Also Overwinter and Shipment will be added to Gunfight. The, uh, some new Spec Ops missions and a new multiplayer mode called Cranked. Also there's a lot of new things within the store you can buy. Uh, some new operators and some new skins and all that kind of stuff. Vacant and Shipment 24-7 has been added. Uh, cranked Playlist has been added and regular gunfight is back. So it's back to normal gunfight and not the one where you have to pick up weapons off the ground or anything like that. And new Classic Spec Ops Mission uh, Bomb Squad and a new Spec Ops Operation called Strong Box. They fixed some bugs where players could get stuck in the update require start loop. Fix for a bug where creating a custom mod could prevent access to private matches. Fix for players disconnecting with the turtle error code. Also implemented fixes for various exploits and boosting. Also fix some players experiencing a drift while using an Xbox controller. Fix bugs that could cause players to accidentally use multiplayer XP tokens due to the delay between clicking the button and confirming it. Also, care packages could fall through the roof on various buildings. Fix a bug where players could use uh, could were unable to swap field upgrades after selecting field upgrade pro fixed a bug where the tablet based kill streak field upgrades have a zoomed in field view on palace which is a big complaint of mine i'm glad that has been fixed fixed for watches not appearing in modes with preset loadouts added a new menu that allows players to launch a specific trial fixed a bug with it calls key bindings to reset and friend request and party invite notification option will be set to enable by default after the patch players could disable that option through the account tab on the options menu also some other things that got kind of changed within this is added an auto move forward feature for keyboard and mouse as well as controller uh, keyboard and mouse got some improved navigation and added a change zoom toggle hybrid behavior gameplay option to change which key bindings and triggers uh, the change the zoom and the toggle hybrid also footsteps reduced the audible range of third person footsteps increased uh, inclusion or occlusion of own footsteps Adjusted the various sounds that played at a large range, larger ranges than footsteps during ADS and crouch movement. Fixed for air vehicles not uh, sounding properly. I'm, I'm assuming it's kind of how they're going with this. I'm not sure if that means they're too loud or some of the times that you would hear kill streaks still be there after they have been destroyed. Also fixed for the knife impact sounds missing from kill cams. Adjusted the hip spread for the 357 snake shot so it's consistent regardless of stance. And a fix for the reduced of flinch for the car 98 ebr 14 and mk2 carbine and that was all the weapon changes we did get today of course there were some specific fixes for pc several fixes were implemented to prevent crashes and improve stability uh, special operations survival they had various exploit fixes and also classic spec ops fixed a bug where players were receiving inconsistent amounts of xp they also had some other things for spec ops i'm not going to go into all the details with it uh, they did some changes for the Call of Duty League, for the Pro League, for Codcaster and Search and Destroy. I'm not going to go into those either. Of course, that is just for, you know, the pro scene and all that kind of stuff. But overall, guys, this is like a pretty good update. A lot of bug fixes and things again. Nothing really changed for weapons, like I said, besides that snake shot consistency from, you know, the hip spread and also the, reducing, uh, the reduction of flinch for the Car 98, the EBR-14, and the MK2 Carbine which may make those weapons a little bit more viable if they do have less flinch. The Car 98 is already good anyway, in my opinion, is pretty much like a sniper, and so is the MK2 Carbine if you have the right attachments on there. But like I said, guys, these patch notes will be linked down in the description below if you guys would like to read over them for yourself. I'm going to let the gameplay play on out. It's almost uh, The game's almost over with anyway, but I'm just going to let it play on out in case you guys like to finish watching it. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.